censorship in the way that they have to desexualize Lola Bunny. What do I think? What about do you think about it? I think like, it's what. What what makes Lola Bunny this versus that better, objectively right now? Well, I mean, given the obvious, I get why they censored it. I get why they desexualized her because it shouldn't be like a kids' cartoon shouldn't be that way. I get that from that standpoint, but at the same time. There's too many Karens in the world ruining the fucking shows. Like, you can't... There is so much censorship on everything now. Can't have my sexy bunny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look, I don't mind censorship when it's appropriate for the character. Such as? Okay. Oh, Final Fantasy VII Remake, it's pretty awesome. Well, I do not like Tifa Lockhart's fucking outfit on that it doesn't fit her character see her i would advent argue ch- way differently her advent children character shows off her class much better than her yeah. freaking final fantasy 7 original but what it really is is tiva at the heart of her character uh-huh is a girl who really cares about her community and always wants to help out uh-huh. she happens to be athletic and she's dressed like a three dollar hooker like uh-huh. Like, it doesn't in, in suit re- her personality. In the remake or in the original? In both. But in the remake, she has a clear <laughs> defined personality, yeah. you know? Yeah. She clearly has a morality and a way of presenting herself. She isn't seeking the attention it, that that outfit is appropriately doing. Lola clearly was. Like, Lola, like, she owned her sexuality and enjoyed what it came with it but when it was time to be serious she wanted to be taken seriously she was deliberately sexy to empower herself the girl's got some skills yes don't ever call me doll Tifa was just happened to be in the outfit, and every time Tifa was cat called out or had someone love uh, talk about her, they always talked about her looks instead of her personality or her morality, and that was the defining feature. And Tifa was her morality in my in my opinion. So it was just like it felt like it took away from the character with the sexualization, and I wouldn't mind her being censored into her Final Fantasy VII Advent Children. Mm-hmm. Like you don't have that problem with Aerith. Aerith was very cute and funny yep. and full personality, and they focused on that aspect. Yep. But every time they talk about Tifa, it's like, I know what he likes, and <laughs> mm, Tifa's it. It's just like... I can see what you're saying there, plus not only that, but you're right. She doesn't she doesn't do what Lola does. When things are serious, she doesn't say, hey, jackass, I'm going to fuck you up right now. She just goes, ha ha, oh, man. <laughs> How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? Guy can change. Has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. I see what you're saying. Yeah, it's like... And if I'm going to go off a little topic, have you ever seen Girl on Lagan? No. Top of ten Girl on Lagan is one of the greatest animes of all time. No debate. Really good. I also like Fooly Cooly. It's my favorite anime series is Fooly Cooly. Okay. Um, and Girl in Lagan, within the first episode, a girl crashes through the ceiling because they all live underground. And she's a resistance fighter who's a sniper who is currently fighting a giant mech for supremacy on the surface. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah. She's a very serious character. Who happens to enjoy her looks? What is she dressed in, you think? Something skimpy? Yeah, a swimsuit. She's in a swimsuit with a scarf. And I'm like, why? <laughs> this serves no purpose. Like, and she's ogled almost immediately, and she's annoyed by it almost immediately. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, it doesn't suit her character at all. Faye Valentine, it suits her character be, to be skimpy. She is a femme fatale. She is a person who is using her looks to gain an advantage in the world. Like, if it if it doesn't suit the character, then dress them appropriately. You know, I was like, I don't get it. That's true. When he's, 
Like, That's true. Not every single female that walks into a game or movie has to be sexualized right off the bat. Some of them yeah. can actually be, if it works for their character, it works for their character. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But Lola was absolutely deserves to be sexualized because that girl oozed sexuality in her first. Like it played the music, she did the walk, she clearly enjoyed the attention. Like that's she dressed that way for a reason. She drew she gained empowerment through her looks, which is more power to her. If I could do it, I would dress like yeah that all the time. Plus, some men do that. It's just like. Yeah, plus it's never it was it wasn't bad. Like you said, she walked in the basketball court, she owned it, and when Bugs made a move or whatever, she had fire in her eyes. She's like, I'm not just I'm not I'm not just a trophy for the eyes. You really don't want to mess with me. Yeah. That's and that kind of strong, independent women, I mean, you can still have assets and still put that, you know, that attitude in there and it'll still be a hit, you know? Yeah. I don't mind if the conversation was about, well, Lola dresses how she prefers when she wants to be pretty outside of it. And then she wears the outfit when, when she wants to be taken seriously on the court. But that mm-hmm. isn't the conversation. They straight up, like, they they took her boobs away. I was like, why does women empowerment automatically mean she has to go down three breast sizes? What's going on here? <laughs> like, It's the Karens. I'm telling you, it's the Karens. <laughs> Oh wait, she looks sexy. She looks sexy. Take her out. She's got to look like me. She's got to look normal, David. She's got to look normal. I just don't. No, she fucking doesn't. I don't understand. Like, it doesn't suit the character from the original. Like, well, yeah, but if we're if we're having that argument, it doesn't fit the character from the original. That's a whole big conversation with like Lord of the Rings, with Pokemon, with any video game adaptation to movie. Adaptation, like that's no, the no, whole no, thing. no. If we're talking about we're talking about a character change that's happening over time, Lola has gone way too far in the opposite direction from her design alone. Yeah. If you want to think about a character that has oh. changed dramatically from his previous days to something completely different, we can just look at Kratos from God of War, right? Yep, yep. Kratos from God of War changed completely. From the God of War 1, 2, 3 to God of War 4. Yeah. But he's still fundamentally the same character. His decisions in his past and meeting his wife mm-hmm. is what changed him. If, if the decision for Lola was like the current events and happenings has changed her, then that would be a discussion. But it doesn't feel that way. No. I'm, I'm interested in the movie and what they do. If she like still acts the same, I'll be like, well, then why... Why would what you the fuck yeah. is yeah? You're no one to fulfill the promise we made. No matter the darkness, nothing will stand in our way. It feel like it'll be just lying like, to the character, you know. All they would have to do is literally have her and Bugs be married and with kids, and then the the world would be like, oh, okay, we get it. What happened to her chest? (laughs) (laughs) The kids, obviously. When it comes down to it, I don't understand. Like, maybe I'm being sexist as a man. I don't know completely. Like, I'm not a female. I don't know that. But I would think that female empowerment means that whoever wants to be can be how they want to be you know yeah like if you want to be able to strut your stuff then you should be able to strut your stuff without the shame and catcalling on all that other crap yeah you know Mm. and if you enjoy looking that way then you should be able to enjoy looking that way if you feel a certain way about your body or even just your image if just your attitude don't hide it. Just show it. Be who you want to be and be who you are. Don't hide it. But I think a lot of that has to do with, like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, the like, world's, yeah. The world's changing drastically fast. It is. But it's like, um, and maybe a woman uh, watching this can help us out because we are idiots. But yeah, it's obviously. 
<laughs> but yeah, women empowerment's a, a whole thing, and it needs to be what's right, what's wrong, what's women empowerment. Da 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 da. So I I, I don't know. I don't uh, think women empowerment is making the girl look more like a dude. I honestly don't think that's. I don't think no? it's like closing and frumping up in clothes either. I don't think that's women empowerment, and I doubt that women will argue with me. Well, anyways, tell us what you think of Lola Bunny or a character you think should be over or under sexualized to fit her character better. Uh, I'm Commander Charmander. And I'm Polyrath King. And we will see you later. See you guys.